Hi, this is Rosalind Eve, and we're doing another one in the series of uh, very high quality work and masterpiece type works. And I'm doing a mini analysis, uh, free mini analysis for this artist. And you, where I found him was the Open Discussion Art Group. You see up here at the top, Open Discussion Art Group, and you see this is the artist's name here, uh, Konstantin Korobov, if, I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, and the work is Oil on Canvas, and it's Spasm, it's called Spasm. Okay, so, we're going to have a look and do a mini analysis, and I wanted to make a, a point here about that there's 40 ingredients that artists can use in their recipe of art. Now, you won't tend to use all the ingredients, but all the ingredients that this artist has used has been done to a superb level. It's an optimal maximum level. And you can see that he has that Rembrandt type of quantities of light and dark in the image where it's mostly dark and medium dark it's the skin and that's what creates such a strong contrast which is another ingredient contrast of light and dark there's contrast of texture of the smooth skin to the rough things and the the ripples in the material and the texture on the, the feather they're all like you know contrast of texture contrast of smoothness again so you know and of course contrast of light to dark you can see the exquisite uh, three-dimensional shadowing that's been done in this art piece and you can see that they've used color but so minimally and they placed it in the center now normally it would seem like that would be too big of a space to have nothing in it so it doesn't it has this feather in it and it's so interesting to see it continued over here through the hat so in that regard it takes you from this image to this image and normally we would say that that's breaking the rules cutting a face in half uh, as it appears to be, because we only look at what we're visually seeing, not whatever, you know, the the artist is saying. It's does the artwork stand on its own? Does it speak to us enough th and stand strongly enough on its own that it's interesting and you want to look at it and enjoy it? Well, this one definitely does, because... The interesting thing is, so he did put that there, but notice that it's also created lines, which is use of lines. And he used them so superbly because he's got one coming down here and he's got one carrying you back over here. So normally because the face is cut in half and the light areas are up against the edge of the image, that would normally tend to make you want to leave the image and not look anymore. But because of the use of lines, he's created a, a triangular area here with the, light and, with the light spaces and the use of color. And this line here is supporting it to some extent too, moving around in this direction. So those ingredients you can see are all done superbly. There isn't, there is even a little bit of texture here in the background. I don't, you may not be able to see all these little brown dots. So it's not solid black there. There's little, what looks like tiny birds or some sort of bug or something. I don't know. But anyway, there's a bunch of those. So again, it's not empty space and the his utilization of the ingredient of space is really well done as well we've got your busy and your non-busy space which is another ingredient and he's got that in good proportions because you can see it enhances the busy space it enhances that because of all the non-busy space you know so it's again a contrast right and you've got the contrast with the rough 
uh, you know, on the crab's legs and smooth glass and so on. And the, um, the cast shadows are good too, not just the three-dimensional shadowing, but notice that there's cast shadows as well that are working really well for him. The mood is working really well. Look at the expression on the face. And it is, um, it's got a strong path and flow there with the lines. It's got a good size viewing window. The only thing out of, you know, anything that I could think of in the ingredient list here that could possibly be changed or improved, and it's just technically it could be, I'm, I'm not saying it isn't superb, and, it, and I'm saying it is, I believe, a masterpiece, this image, regardless that it's a little more square, but wide images and tall images, as we learned in school, are much more interesting than more squarish images, and this one is a little bit, you know, squarish, uh, so it would have been improved you know slightly if it was a little bit taller so other than that it's superb just like it is and uh, the exaggeration of expression you know there's like I said all the ingredients now note too that I've talked in my other videos about blending ingredients if you want a strong main area of interest so there isn't one that's really more dominant than another except for I would say possibly this because you've got both texture and color in one space but you see there's nothing to support it um, and we've talked about this in other ones that if you combine two ingredients together like texture and really bright color then the two ingredients together makes it a stronger area of interest that you want to look at so it's kind of ingenious that he's kept the color out there by itself and that's the only strong color in the whole image and it's kind of in the middle where the empty space would be in his um, in his viewing window. The viewing window is very slightly you know bigger than ideal but it works you know and that's the only ingredient that isn't, you know, ideal, shall we say. Um, <laughs> and even masterpieces, there are things that are used that are not ideal. So it is really, to me, a masterpiece. And I would deem it to be that. And uh, I think that covers most of the ingredients that I wanted to bring up in, in a mini um, mini analysis but it is so well done such a high level of quality here that to me having so many ingredients correct and none of them competing like there is no like I said uh, doubling up of ingredients together that makes one um, competing this one is dominant only because it is such a large mass of white all in one spot and then this one because of the color and then these two kind of compete a little bit but because of the lines it works okay so I'm going to um, end the analysis at this point and this is my page this is my Facebook page uh, for anybody that is interested in having a practical analysis done, I do have a fee page there as well. But please do uh, feel free to enjoy the other little mini analysis videos because there is some very inspiring work there. And, uh, and there is another masterpiece on there as well that I consider a masterpiece. But very high quality work and it's inspiring to view and I hope you enjoy it as much as I have. Because this artist to me is, this particular image to me is very inspiring and I can't tell you what a wonderful symphony of ingredients that this artist has created here. Okay, thank you and bye for now.